Our next chef comes to us from G. Michael's Bistro and Bar, where he's been cooking up unique, delectable dishes for more than 10 years. When planning his seasonal menus, he creates everything from scratch using the freshest quality ingredients with his signature southern-inspired low country flair. Please welcome from G. Michael's, Chef David Tetzloff. David, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You're going to do a little Ohio-raised... We're doing Beautiful New York strip steak here. And oh boy, can't wait to have some of this. Let's go, David. We're doing some Ohio raised strip steak. It comes from Bay's Market down in Lancaster, Ohio. And uh, they've been down there for quite a while. They deal with the same farmers. Uh, about uh, three or four months ago, we used them and worked with them to do a uh, nose to tail pork dinner that they provided the pork for. And then I talked to them and they let me know that they also had uh, local Ohio raised beef. So I thought we'd give that a try. And it turned out to be a really, really high-quality product. Uh, nice marbling, um, an Angus and Hereford cross, I believe is what they told me. We've got a little coffee rub on it, a little espresso, brown sugar, uh, ground mustard, a little cumin, uh, and then salt and pepper. And we want to keep that a little bit rare. We're going to keep our strips a little bit rare just so that they... Uh, the marbling's really nice. They're nice and tender. We don't need to go much further than that. For the uh, sauce itself, we're doing a gastrique sauce, which is a French sauce, a little bit of sweet and sour in it. So we're going to saute some shallots, a little brown butter. Let those go just a little bit. And then as I said, we're doing sweet and sour, so we're going to add a little bit of sugar which we want to have caramelized. That's about two ounces. Interesting, it's the second meat dish we've had in a row with sugar in it. I like it. <laughs> well, we're going to, uh, after that, once that gets a little bit caramelized, we're going to use some Worcestershire and some sherry wine vinegar to kind of make it the tart and sweet. Um, and we find that the Worcestershire sauce really kind of accompanies the beef really well. You don't want to cook these too hard because of the sugar that's in the rub. They will burn up on you a little bit. We do want a nice char, but we don't want to get them burned so they're too that's bitter. beautiful. Look at the color there. Gorgeous. So as our sugar starts to caramelize a little with the shallots, we're going to add the sherry vinegar. and the Worcestershire sauce and let that come down. And what we're going to serve this on tonight is a uh, leek mashed potato. We're in that kind mm. of season right now where I was able to bump the leeks with a little bit of local ramps. They're just coming into season, uh, which is really nice for those of you who aren't familiar with ramps. It's a wild leek. Got a really pungent, um, strong or assertive garlicky flavor. Uh, but they're really, really delicious. They come right out of the Appalachians down, uh, down around Athens, a little bit further south. So as I said, we're going to keep these rare. We're going to let them go for about another minute, then we'll pull them off to rest. We take this sauce down just a little bit. A little Tabasco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a little veal stock. And then also in the springtime, since the asparagus is starting to run, and we've just started to see just a little bit of local asparagus. It's not quite there yet, but hopefully in the next couple weeks it starts coming up. At the restaurant, we'd serve this on the mashed potatoes with the local asparagus. A little drizzle of our sauce when that comes down a little bit. Wow, does that smell good. Mm. So we'll let that rest up. You want to let your meats rest just so they, uh, just so the juices kind of distribute back out. You don't have a, a big bloody mess on your cutting board when you cut into them. So as soon as that comes down a little bit more, what we're going to do is we're going to mount it with a little bit of butter. Hopefully that'll thicken it up just a touch more. Uh, what, what Richard say earlier, butter's better. And more butter, butter is more better. More butter is more better. That's about right. Mm-hmm. Uh, a good wine with this, uh, since you have the nice tannins and whatnot coming from the uh, espresso. Uh, and, of course, always good with steak as a red wine. At the restaurant, we'd probably pair it with um, 
a wine like the Prisoner, which is one of our favorite wines at the restaurant. It's a Cabernet and uh, Zinfandel blend. Um, but that'd be a good pairing with this. And then we're going to mount this with butter. We're going to pull it off heat a little bit so, it doesn't, uh, so the butter doesn't break out too bad, or hopefully at all. I'm going to let that rest. It should be about there. We're a little rare, a little rarer than I'd want, but uh, I tasted some earlier and it was still pretty rare and it's really, really tasty. The nice buttery flavor of the New York strip. And they were oh, nice enough to beautiful. age it for me for a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, that looks beautiful. Mmm. My favorite part of the show. <laughs> ah, gorgeous looking plate. Absolutely gorgeous looking plate. So we can put a little bit of butter in this sauce. That's just to thicken it up a little bit. A mm. little flavor, a little thickening. Oh, yeah. A little more cholesterol. That's right. It's all good, which is why you have to have the wine. More butter is more better. Absolutely. More wine is more better, too. So then we're just going to take a little spoonful of this sauce. Wow. That is gorgeous. Let that butter melt in. I'm going to sneak in behind you and grab a little fork. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let that go right over the top. Mm -hmm. A little bit around the plate. And asparagus, only my favorite vegetable. That's good, too. And then at the restaurant, what we'd garnish this with is we make a little pepper relish, a sweet pepper jam out of wow. bell peppers, a little jalapeno oh, yeah. for a little spice. That's oh, kind of how we'd yeah. serve it. Woo! 